And so I don't even, I don't even, like, if I had somebody infringing in the U.S., yep. I know they're making it in China, so I yep. could just find their manufacturer and sue their manufacturer over there because I did have a patent infringement case in the United States, and it cost me $750,000 to defend it. So, so, so it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. You want, well, the last thing I'll say is one of the things that, you know, people, when they get patents, they need to understand that, you know, it's nice to have a patent, but if you can't defend that patent, that patent is useless. Right. And and in this country, it is a gazillion dollars to defend a patent. It's a lot of money. And, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure how long the case took, because that's another thing in the U.S., not in addition to money. These things can drag on for year after year after year. Ten years. But, yeah, yeah. but it, that's that's how long it took, 10 years? Mine was like six and a half. So the seven fifty seems like a bargain. A lot of times you see these things that are millions, tens of millions of dollars. Uh, and, you know, maybe those worth the tech companies, and uh, it's a lot, maybe more at stake. Uh, but seven hundred and fifty seems like a bargain compared to the numbers. I uh... exactly. So that's one thing that people. I mean, when they look at the whole, there's a whole picture to look at, not just you know they need to be uh, getting advice from somebody that sees the whole picture and knows the direction that. Uh, the way things can fall out, you know, as far as, okay, I got a patent, but okay, so Microsoft comes and steals your patent. You're going to go up against a company that is billions of dollars? No. Correct. 